Well, I just got home from removal. A doggone hot one and a doggone big one. And unfortunately, it was a long drive home and it was too much for the bees. Too hot. It's something that happens. I'm not proud of it, but I've done it before. Bees got too hot, killed them. The whole colony. And it was a big colony. Whole thing dead or in a hammer. But the good Lord giveth and the good Lord taketh away. I come home and find a swarm. And I can actually get this one. It's not way up there in the top of those trees. It's right here within reach. And on a little bitty limb, no less. So I'm actually going to lop it off. And I'm going to take a little bit of brood comb that I salvaged from that removal and set them up. Looky here. This is how swarms are supposed to be. Reached up in the tree, just lopped that limb off clean. Carried the whole thing over here to my box. Got my queen excluder set up just so I can shake them and hopefully find her real quick. This is how swarms are supposed to be, folks. They're not supposed to be 50 foot high in the tree and me climbing up there and getting stung all over and chased out of the tree and it ain't supposed to be like that it's supposed to be easy let's give them a shake and see what we find booyah dumped them off where's that queen where is she everybody's looking where is she i'm looking she's probably flying now probably there she is probably should have sugared them would have made more sense yeah, buddy. There's our queen. So we'll just slip her down here inside the box, dump these bees off the queen scooter, and got ourselves a swarm. So there you go. Got some chaos. Bees all flying around. But they'll figure it out. They'll find her in there. In case y'all were wondering, that's the sad, disgusting uh, death of a huge colony. And, you know, I do this maybe once a year, and I don't know why. It just... I didn't realize it was as hot as it was. It took us longer to get home than we thought. All sorts of issues. Now this was with my bush kill BVAC as well. I did not take the top slide here. I didn't take this top slide out, but I brought them home in the back of the truck with that vent open and all that open. You know, so not a whole lot less area than just having this all the way out. That may be all that did it. You know, it very well could be all that it took. It could be that they died on location in the vacuum because the vacuum is too hot. I don't, I don't know. They seemed like they were still pretty active when I loaded them in the truck. And when I got home to take them out of the truck, I could just hear. It was just quiet. Too quiet. So I, I kind of fully expected to open up and find them dead. That sucks. That was a huge colony. Eh, maybe they're a little feisty, so whatever. Say it was on purpose, but I'm not proud of it anyway. Anyway, that's warm. That's my highlight for the day.